Veterans Day is Saturday, and there is a very special event that can connect veterans with an adorable pet just like this. Yes, Sean Bailey and, Sel and Seltz joins us from the Michigan Humane Society to tell us more about it. Andy Seltz. Andy, got it. <laughs> I had like a brain fart moment, forgive me. So tell us about these adorable pets that you brought in. Well, this is actually um, Bailey, and Bailey is a terrier, as you can see. <laughs> she is 10 years old, and um, she also is missing one of her front legs. She had an old Aww. injury, but she's getting around just great now. And this one is Captain. Captain is a uh, eight-year-old schnauzer, and um, he's about 40 pounds. Bailey is about 20 pounds. And they are a bonded pair, so the person or persons that take in these two are taking them both at the same time. Correct? Ideally, yes, Ideally. they're best buds. Aww. They are best buddies, they've been together for years? I, I presume so, yeah, they were owner surrendered. Owner surrendered, so it, it would be heartbreaking to break them up. So if you have room in your loving home for a two special uh, dogs Really like cute siblings, dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, uh, is By it, all means. Is it important to keep try to keep dogs together who've been around each other for a long time? Because they're, I'm sure they experience some anxiety and depression, Andy. Oh, absolutely. They become bonded over time. They're best friends, and, and it's just like losing one of your own friends. Yeah, that's They're hard. family members. Absolutely. It's depressing, and dogs feel the same way. About each other, right? They do. All right. Tell us about the event. So uh, this year we've come up with MHS for military. It's a, it's a new program for us. We're going to offer 75% off adoption fees at our Rochester, Westland, Detroit, and uh, Petco and Sterling Heights. Uh, veterans are invited to come in and see us, bring their DD-214, and uh, current uh, active military are also invited to bring your ID card. This is awesome. Well, what would the normal adoption fee be? Well, it, you know, it depends on the dog or the okay. cat. Um, but for puppies, it can be hundreds of dollars, although we do offer coupons on our website. Um, but 75% off, you can't beat that. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, if these two dogs together, you know, separately would be 100 each, then you take 75% off of that. I mean, yeah. like, I mean, beyond the immeasurable uh, love that you're going to provide and they're going to provide you, it's not just about the money. Yeah, and it's a great way to honor our vets, too. They've served us. Now, this is a way for you guys to serve them. I think it's Yeah, a and there's win -win. so many in Metro Detroit. Mm -hmm. Oh, how could you pass up that face or the other face? That I mean, they're just so happy true. looking around. Yeah, and let's talk about how pet help vets you know they come back they've experienced a lot of maybe even PTSD how do pets help them pets you, you know you come home after a hard day of work or whatever the situation is and your, your pet doesn't judge you they don't care they are happy to see you they're excited they're bouncing off the wall so it brings that joy back to the individual all right well thank you both for being here and you both as well I know Godspeed <laughs> on finding a home I, I feel like uh, people are like already picking up their phones whoever adopts our pet of the week will receive two $75 gift cards from our partners at Hagopian Cleaning Services um, because... Because accidents happen. It has, you know, help with the transition, as we like to call it. Well, last week's Pet of the Week was very quickly adopted. You might remember him as Sweet Potato. He is now known as Buster and has received a new loving forever home. Live in the D is proud to say we have a 100% adoption rate for the adoptable pets, the adorable pets we feature here each week. Yes, including thanks. these two. That's right. Thanks, guys, so much.